Hi my loves, it's Eileen. Last year, I made a couple videos about my holistic healing journey and the body and brain practice. Through this, I was invited to share my story in a new documentary called Love Heals. Love Heals follows the journey of Dana, a chronic pain sufferer in search of healing. Together with her partner, Krasana, a filmmaker, the two travel the country to understand how this ancient principle has helped so many heal and to see what's possible for those experiencing these practices for the first time. I'm grateful to be a small part of this film and to share this concept of self-love and healing that's so needed in our world today. So please enjoy this exclusive extended cut created just for our community of my interview in the documentary, Love Heals. Why am I pushing myself? Why am I trying so hard? Why am I suffering so much when I have everything that I need? I have enough money, I have a beautiful home, I have a boyfriend, I have a puppy, I, like I have everything. I'm not lacking in my life and yet I'm, why am I suffering? Why do I have anxiety still? Your body gives you signals, whether, right? Whether it's just anxiety, sadness, depression, frustration, you feel it. I mean, growing up, I had um, a difficult relationship with my dad and I knew that that was a big part of who I am and my life and why I am the way I am. But when I started my YouTube career, it was more about like, forget that, I'm gonna be, like, I'm gonna be my true self, I'm gonna become a new version of me and let me just chase my dreams. And so the first few years it was chasing my dreams. And one theme from this past year really was me finally healing from the part of me that is an overachiever, the part of me that pushes myself so hard. Because if you think about it, in the beginning of my career, when you're doing YouTube content creator, you have to push yourself. You have to work really hard. You're not making money the first few years. At a certain point, I reached a million subscribers. I was making good enough money. And yet I was still like stressing out every day about the numbers. My emotions would go up and down with the numbers. And I always had this feeling like, oh, you're not doing enough. You're not good enough. The first session with Michelle, I mean, I was excited because I didn't know what to expect. Um, what was interesting just doing these exercises for the first time was you feel like you're touching parts of your body that you've never touched before, you're, right? Like your gut, your organs, it's, it's really strange. And it's also the most interesting part was Michelle showing us where on our bodies we were holding like tension or pain. For example, like this is the heart chakra line. At the first session when she touched here, it was painful. And now when I do, it's not painful anymore. Obviously there were sessions where I would cry. I think in the first three, four or five sessions, I, I cried each time. <laughs> <laughs> for a different reason. Like the first time was just like working with your solar plexus area, just tapping and like pushing this area made me emotional <laughs> because she says you, you store emotions here. I feel like tingling here. My hands like are like this. <laughs> my hands start clamping up and my mouth goes up like this and like I'm crying and it's not just, I'm not just crying, but my whole body is like tense and in pain. I had a lot of sadness in my childhood. I had a lot of chaos and uncertainty when I was a kid, but I just kept it all to myself. I would just cry and not explain to anybody why I was crying. I like intuitively, I think that's why my mouth does that when I'm healing because I, could, I didn't express myself. I like. I kept it all in. And it's like, as an adult, that still happens. And so I, through healing practices, I have to breathe through it and I have to allow myself to express. That was the most recent thing that I've been working to heal. And it, a lot of things came up where that voice that's telling me I'm not good enough, I'm not doing enough, it's not my own voice. It was actually my dad's voice because I felt like nothing that we did was ever good enough for him. That was like a huge revelation where I'm like, oh, it's not my own voice, like it's my dad's voice and I can choose to let it go if I want to. And it was really through doing like body and brain practices. I even did this workshop called Finding Your True Self that really helped me let go of a lot of that pressure, let go of that unnecessary high, high expectations on myself and live more carefree. So one of my themes now is like, I would just wanna live more carefree and focus on just joy and love in my life because I don't need to be so hard on myself. I don't have to be that critic, right? You should be loving and supportive to yourself. Self-love is the heart of it all. Like if you don't love yourself, you can't find happiness. You can't, like there's so much that's gonna be missing if you don't love yourself. After doing 
these sessions and healing bit by bit, I felt I felt my happiness come back into my life. I feel a little bit more energy. I had more inspiration. I was able to sleep better. I have insomnia. Like I'm, I'm the kind of person that stays up at night because my brain won't stop thinking. So I was able to sleep a little better and be a little bit more creative. And what's interesting is I told you I, I took a break. We took a month off because we wanted to see if we could just practice at home and then go back to do the private sessions. But in the past month, I felt both me and my boyfriend Wilson like going backwards a little bit. Like I, I've, I have the insomnia a little bit again because I'm not practicing as hard as I was when I was doing those private sessions, which just goes to show it's literally, it's a practice. You have to do it consistently. You have to dedicate some time to it. I definitely noticed like the shift in the energies. Healing is transmuting your pain, giving that pain a purpose. It's making that pain mean something in your life, whether it teaches you a lesson, whether it helps you be a stronger person or just be a more accepting person. There's so many things that healing can do for you. That That's kind of the perspective that has helped me, at least in my life, because you, there's a purpose for your pain.